Welcome back to Sports Class with Dr. K. In an earlier episode, we looked at some of the most bizarre sports injuries in the history of sports. So check out that video if you're interested, subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to hear more about. So you guys chimed in about some of the injuries in that video, and we've looked up some other injuries. Of course, there are countless bizarre injuries in the history of sports, but you asked for it, so here's another list, 10 more bizarre sports injuries. Starting with number one, Climax Blethen takes a bite out of his own backside. Clarence Climax Blethen was a baseball player back in the 1930s. Like many people of the Depression era, he'd lost a number of teeth and so he had a set of dentures. When he was playing on the field, a lot of times he kept those dentures in his back pocket so he could give a fearsome toothless grin to his opponents. On this particular play though, he forgot to take the teeth out of his back pocket, and as he went sliding into second base, the teeth actually scraped a chunk out of his own backside. So Blethen reportedly stayed in the game. He recovered from his wounds, but this has to be one of the most bizarre injuries in the history of sports. Number two, Boban Jankovic breaks his own neck. Now some of these injuries are fun to kind of poke fun at, and they are crazy and bizarre. In some cases though, the players really end up injuring themselves badly. It's not so easy to laugh at these injuries. That's the case with number two, Boban Jankovic, who was a Serbian basketball player. In a 1993 playoff game in the Greek Basketball League, Jankovic drove to the rim late in the game, thinking he had scored an important basket. Instead, he was called for an offensive foul, which turned out to be his fifth foul, fouling him out of the game. He was so frustrated at the call that Jankovic bashed his head into the goalpost under the basketball goal. He ended up breaking his own neck as a result of that action. He spent the rest of his life in a wheelchair, of course, never played again, and ended up dying 13 years later. All right, number three, we need a pick-me-up after that last story. How about fireworks? Jason Pierre-Paul blowing up his hand with fireworks. JPP was a great player with the New York Giants football team. On July 4th, 2015, while celebrating the holiday with his family, a firework ended up exploding in JPP's hand. It blew off his index finger, severely injured his thumb and other parts of the hand. He actually didn't return until eight weeks into the season, and even when he did, he had to wear a huge clunky cast on his hand while he was playing. Now JPP did come back and he's had a number of highlights in his career to this point, but he's never returned to the greatness that he exhibited before that tragic mishap. Number four, Chris Coughlin's pie injury, another odd one. In a July 2010 baseball game, Marlins third baseman Wes Helms got a game-winning hit, and of course the team erupted into celebration. It was the aftermath of that celebration, though, that resulted in this bizarre injury. Promising young infielder Chris Coughlin, who had actually won the Rookie of the Year award the previous season, attempted to plant a shaving cream pie on Wes Helms' face while he was doing an interview. Coughlin jumped into the air and landed awkwardly on his knee, tearing his ACL and ending the season for him. Now Coughlin, like some of the others, did recover from this injury and ultimately resume his career, but he was never again the promising player that he showed from that rookie season. Number five, Plaxico Burris shoots himself in the leg. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Number five. Plaxico Burris shoots himself in the leg. <laughs> Number five. Plaxico Burris shoots himself in the leg. In November 2008, New York Giants star wide receiver Plaxico Burris was grooving in the club when he realized that a loaded gun he had in his waistband was slipping down his leg. He reached to grab the gun and ended up firing it into his own leg. Now Burris actually recovered fairly quickly. The injury wasn't that serious, 
but he ended up being suspended for the rest of the season and eventually sentenced to two years in jail for carrying a weapon without a permit. Burris eventually did return to the field and played again, but those two years away ended up spoiling a once promising career. Number six, Ronald Belisario breaks a shoulder while getting out of the pool. Ronald Belisario was a promising relief pitcher with the Los Angeles Dodgers and a couple of other teams. He also had a very checkered history with injuries and off the field incidents, drug suspensions and things of that nature, uh, along with visa problems. So his injury in the spring of 2015 was only one of a number of kind of star-crossed incidents involving this promising player. In the spring of 2015, Belisario apparently fractured his shoulder while attempting to get out of the swimming pool several months prior to the 2015 season. He didn't realize the extent of the injury until he reported to spring training where it was realized that he had done serious damage to that shoulder. Now, Belisario did recover from the injury, ultimately returned to the team, but after traveling with several other teams, his career never really got back on track after that bizarre swimming pool injury. Number seven, Brett Barbary burns his eyes. Now, Brett Barbary is known for a couple of things. An expansion pick for the Florida Marlins, he actually was the first player in that franchise's history to get a hit. But he's also known for this bizarre injury. After eating a plate of nachos with jalapenos on it, Barbary went to put in his contact lenses without washing his hands. The pepper juice ended up burning his eyes. Now, Barbary only missed one game. The injury wasn't all that serious, but he will forever be known for this infamous and weird self injury. Number eight, Antonio Brown's frostbite. Antonio Brown had an off-season to forget leading up to the 2019 season. After a checkered 2018 with the Pittsburgh Steelers, ending when Brown refused to play in the critical final game of the season, Brown entered the off-season with an uncertain future. Eventually, he was traded to the Oakland Raiders, but before he ever played a game, Brown suffered a strange frostbite injury when he underwent a controversial and new cryogenic therapy in France. Apparently, Brown didn't wear the proper footwear during this freezing therapy and ended up getting frostbite on his feet. Now, Brown eventually, of course, did return to the team, although that injury held him back in the preseason and through much of training camp. Number nine. Steve Sparks ruins his shoulder ripping a phone book in half. I could probably stop there. That headline about says it all. But Steve Sparks, a promising knuckleball pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers, endured a number of weird injuries during his career. But this was the weirdest for sure. In 1994, during spring training, Sparks attempted to rip a telephone book in half, which I guess was kind of a popular stunt during that time. He ended up pulling out his shoulder in the course of attempting that stunt and ruined that season in his career. He did eventually return to the majors, bounced around for another decade or so with a number of different teams, but he never really got on track after suffering that weird telephone book injury. Number 10, the last one, Milton Bradley injured by his own manager. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, injuries are a part of the game, right? Coaches and managers say this all the time, and they are used to some degree to accepting injuries. But when you as the manager inflict a serious injury on your own player, that's got to be hard to stomach. That's exactly what manager Bud Black did to his star player, Milton Bradley, in this bizarre 2007 injury. Bradley was in the course of arguing a call at home plate when the manager rushed out to pull his player away from the umpire. Uh, manager Bud Black ended up twirling Bradley around and tossing him to the ground. In the course of that action, Bradley ended up tearing an ACL. He was out for the rest of the season. Now he did resume his career the following year and became an all-star once again. But for the rest of that year, Bud Black was without his best player. Now as some consolation in this episode, it was ultimately decided that the umpire had incited the incident with unusually harsh and disrespectful language to Bradley, so he was right to be arguing with the umpire. 
but that was small consolation after losing the rest of that season. So there you have it. Ten more bizarre injuries. There are plenty more out there. Let me hear about your favorite and most notorious injuries in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Number five, Plaxico Burris shoots himself in the leg. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> Number five, Plaxico Burris shoots himself in the leg. <laughs>